Good day, Grade 12. Welcome to this fourth lesson in Week 8. We are still looking at organic mo molecules. In this lesson, we're going to look specifically at isomers. So please watch the next video very carefully. Welcome, Grade 12s, to this session on isomers. You know a little bit about isomers already, but today we will go into more detail. Do you remember what an isomer is? The structure or formulae of organic molecules shows us the exact positions of the atoms, but sometimes the atoms in a molecule are not always at the same position. Here is an example. Can you work out the molecular formula for each of these substances? Did you find that they both have the same molecular formula, C5H12? We thus have two compounds with the same molecular formula but different structural formulae. These compounds are called isomers. Isomers are compounds with the same molecular formula but different structural arrangements. Here is another example of two isomers, butane and methylpropane. Can you see that the molecular formula is the same, but the structural arrangement of the atoms is different? There are three types of structural isomers. The first examples that we have seen so far are the chain isomers. They have different parent or backbone chains. For example, 2-methylbutane and pentane. Notice that in 2-methylbutane, the longest chain has four carbon atoms. In pentane, however, there are five carbon atoms in the long chain. But look, there are five carbon atoms in each molecule, and there are 12 hydrogen atoms in each one. This is why the molecular formula is C5H12. The second type of isomerism is positional isomerism. Positional isomerism is when molecules have the same molecular formula but different structural arrangement because the functional group is in a different position. An example of positional isomerism is but1-ene and but2-ene. You can see that the position of the double bond has shifted from the first carbon to the second carbon. The third type of isomerism is functional group isomerism whereby the two compounds have the same molecular formula but have different functional groups. The compounds therefore belong to different homologous series. Can you draw the structural formula for each of these compounds? Be careful, the parent chain for propane 2 o is the unsaturated hydrocarbon propene. Check whether the molecular formulae are the same. Did you get this? Like this? And here's propane 2 o We can see that the structural formula of both is C3H6O. That's all for today. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to identify these different types of isomers. Don't forget that you can find more information about organic molecules at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Try some of the questions in the task video too and goodbye.